Jean Baptiste Pointe du Sable was the founder of the area that would eventually become Chicago, Illinois. This is his story. Not many people know about du Sable. Du Sable was likely born in Haiti around the year 1745 to a Frenchman and an African slave woman. Du Sable took a ship in 1765 up to New Orleans in the Louisiana Territory. Du Sable was almost enslaved at that time because of his color. He had lost his identification papers, which proved that he was a free man. Du Sable became a fur trader when he was moving up from the Mississippi River to the territory of Chicago in 1770s. In the area, he would find a tribe of Potawatomi natives. He married one of them named Kitikawa. Later, he changed her name to Catherine, a Christian name. Du Sable settled on the base of the Chicago River after heading up from Missouri. In this area, he established the first farm, and on it he grew many crops, and thus, in the process, he officially colonized the Illinois Territory. Du Sable had two children with Catherine, a daughter, Suzanne, and a young son, Jean Jr. Unlike a lot of the settlers in the colonization period of America, Du Sable established friendly relationships with the natives and had a very good relationship with the Potawatomi chief. The chief allowed him to establish his trade route on the Chicago River. The Potawatomis were a tribe known as the Fire Nation. The Potawatomis originally lived in the peninsula of Michigan, but they expanded their territory to the rest of the Midwestern region, such as Illinois and what is now present-day Detroit. There was also another tribe in the area named the Miamis. They also lived in the Great Lakes territory, especially in the areas of Indiana and Ohio. Their main home territory, which they had settled, is now the Fort Wayne area of Indiana. As the story tells us, Du Sable was a fur trader, a career that he chose after, seven, after the Seven Years' War, when the Frenchmen still controlled most of the area's trading posts. Du Sable established his trading posts, and on the farm that he organized, he organized with his help of his family. Du Sable's house was a one-and-a-half-story cabin, which had a very large hallway and four bedrooms, and for its time, glass doors, which were really rare. The contract that was originally established with the fur trade was begun in Quebec, Canada, in 1692. And the contract allowed French fur traders to work in northern Illinois. This proved that the traders had been working in the area for over 100 years. Du Sable's daughter Suzanne was married in 1790 to a man named Jean Baptiste Pierre Thiers. A few years later, they would have a daughter of their own named Eulalie Marie. Eventually, Du Sable would sell his trading post to John Kinsey for what would become a modern day equivalent of about $30,000. In his latter years, he moved to Missouri and bought a house in St. Charles where he would live out the rest of his days. Jean-Baptiste Pointe du Sable would die on August 18, 1818, the same year the Illinois became a state. Little did du Sable know that he had colonized what would become one of the great American cities, Chicago a city that would give us such people as Ernest Hemingway and Barack Obama. <laughs>